This is the first thread of our cut. So it's a good idea to use gloves when you're using the angle grinder and also to use an RCD device just in case you cut through the cable. To use the tap and die set you have to make sure there's a chamfer on the end of the rod so I'm going to do this on the angle grinder. I think I could watch sparks fly from an angle grinder all day. So you can see there the chamfer on the end of the rod. So next I clamped the rod into a vise place the holder horizontal on the end of the rod and start to turn. Once you've turned it enough for to put about two threads into material then you then start to back off because as you're turning um, you'll create chips and turning it back anti-clockwise will break those chips. Some people say you would twist one turn clockwise and then half turn anti-clockwise. Others say do a half turn clockwise followed by a quarter turn anti-clockwise to break any chips. You can see the swarf of metal being cut off the rod. So. See if this is going to screw on. Oh, would you look at that? So, one of the first things I noticed when I was putting the nut on was it wasn't completely straight. So, I obviously didn't have the die holder completely horizontal when I was putting it on. The other thing I noticed was that the nut was a little bit loose, so it had a bit of play there. So I think the main reason why this nut was loose was because this rod was only about 11.75 millimeters. So I purchased this tap and die set from Trade Tools in Australia for $59. So this is the die handle. So you can see that from above the die is tapered, so smaller rings on the bottom. And it's these smaller rings that you place into the seat of the die holder. You also have little indentations that you line up with the screw in the die holder. If this nut was a piece of sheet material, you'd drill the appropriate size hole in the middle and then use the correct size tap to cut the thread out. So first you'd place the tap in the holder and then the way you cut it is just very similar to how I did the thread on the outside of the rod. Some people say you would twist one turn clockwise and then half a turn anti-clockwise. Others say do a half turn clockwise followed by a quarter turn anti-clockwise to break any chips. I think I'd probably go with the half turn clockwise and quarter turn anti-clockwise. You also notice on the end of the tap that the threads are tapered. So this end bit won't actually cut any threads and if it does they'll be rather weak. 
So you just got to make sure that you use the tap beyond the end of the material that you're cutting. So here in the set there was two M12 dies for two thread patterns of 1.75mm per thread and 1.5mm per thread. Also in the box was a set of thread gauges and that allows you to check what thread pattern you have on a nut or a bolt so you can replicate that with the appropriate size tap or die. So that was the trade tools tap and die set. I've not played around with it enough to say how good it is but it does the job. Thanks for watching.